Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, be comfortable yourself and relax your body. And your neck head straight in one line and keep your back straight and gently close your eyes and focus your mind to this bell sound. So while you're focusing to sound mentally, relax your body, relax your mind and relax your breathing. Just focus to the bell sound, do nothing extra. Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Homage to the blessed one, the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So dear Dhamma practitioners, in this meditation session we mainly practice tranquility meditation and vipassana meditation. So when it comes to tranquility meditation, it develop our mind to stay undisturbed. So tranquility meditation, it uh, name in another way, samatha bhavana or bhavana or mental culture. So that means development of your mind. Why? Because the mostly when your thinking capacity become minor, so whatever the experience come to you through the perception and you cannot recognize. So meditation is the way purify your mind. Purify from what? Purify from the greed, hatred and the delusion. So once the mind purified, it become very clear. So when the mind become clear, that you are able to experience things very clearly. So that is what the meditation does. It, it takes you to the highest level to experience yourself. Through purified mind. Not the unpurified mind. Because when you have the greed, hatred or the delusion, what happening, whatever the, the perception get disturbed out of that greed, hatred and the delusion. So then you cannot experience something as it is. So then you go, you start to experience something else. So then that what you experience not become real. That's called illusion. So it mixes with the, our greed, hatred and the delusion and the perception. So tranquility meditation is calming down your mind and bringing your mind to one pointness and keep allowing to settle down itself and develop the undisturbed mind. Another way it called Chitta Bhavana. So once you come to undisturbed mind, then we go to vipassana but in the beginning you need the mental object to develop this tranquility state so for our primary mental object we take inhalation exhalation in pali it called nimitta 
nimitta means workplace so exercise the place you exercise and the place you work so now here our primary mental object is inhalation exhalation so that is your nimitta and it is in front of your nose and your upper lip area not anywhere else just keep focus to because it is your workplace and while you practicing meditation always remember to stay here in front of your nose and your upper lip area and you observe the inhalation exhalation so it is kind of like a security guard you stay here so whatever the inhalation come exhalation come just recognize don't try to inhale or exhale don't try to think i inhale i exhale don't try to count don't try to hold or maintain or dream visualize don't do that anything just with pure consciousness observe and recognize when the inhalation happens just recognize this is inhalation to do that you no need any kind of rocket science so very simple natural process so you have to make it more simple and take it more easy way and when the exhalation happen just recognize it as exhalation so that is the foundation that is the start point recognizing inhalation exhalation separately and remember don't interfere with inhalation exhalation don't hold don't count so we go with negations negations so it it will help you to to recognize what to do it will help you to learn what to do when you know what not to do it's like a playing a game it's like mostly there are most of the play uh, the games have rules so then before you play the game what you do you learn rules why because that is very important it doesn't matter how good you play maybe if you break the rules you fail so negations learning negations very important what you should not do when it come to here focus so that those are don't inhale or ex- don't try to interfere with don't mentally interfere with it. don't hold or don't exercise with breathing like like a pranayama or kind of like that don't do that things this is completely different method and uh, other thing is don't judge or don't think about it it's nothing to do with, you know the thinking just when the inhalation happen recognize exhalation happen recognize and while you practicing like that will little by little the mind will settle down so if in case if you can't find the sensation there are reasons one is your posture so then what you have to do little bit move your upper body back and forth or move your head little bit up and down and find the right alignment that is very necessary and maybe your mind is so busy or going here and there then so then you have to recognize that's why you cannot recognize the sensation so then bring the attention and stay with the sensation and if my your mind go here and there don't worry about it don't keep thinking about it just you are once you recognize that focus to the inhalation exhalation so that way it's little by little little by little you will get into the sensation once you get into the sensation so follow the sensation through the sensation recognize this is inhalation this is exhalation while you observing that mind become sharp and now you able to see very clearly the sensation and observe this is the beginning this is the middle this is the end so like that from beginning to end observe entire continuation of the inhalation exhalation another way it called observe 
whole breath body. So the breath body means one inhalation or exhalation from beginning to end. When it happens, just recognize. And also while you observing that way, you may experience some inhalation longer, shorter, exhalation also the same, heavy, soft, warm, cold, or sometimes only right nostril inhale, or sometimes only left side, so like that. There are many, many experiences you get, but just see it and recognize, keep observing. So that way, little by little, little by little, mind become calm, body become more relaxed, soft, comfortable. And then the joy, the pleasure arise in you and the mind start to settle down. Your body, mind, breathing start to work as one. So once you come to tranquility state, there are more steps going deeper, deeper, deeper. But this is enough in the beginning. So once you come to the tranquility state, and from there we go to vipassana level of practice. So the vipassana level difference of with the samatha and vipassana. So now you use all the details with the primary mental object. This is inhalation, all the details. This is exhalation, this is beginning, middle, end, so like that. When it go to vipassana, you don't go with that kind of details. You only get into the five aggregates. Five aggregates mean very that itself, that you are. Your life itself called five aggregates. What are those? Form, feeling, sensation, formations, recognition. So there are four kind of, the, 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 the six kind of forms. So what the forms means, the whatever the perception. So for your eye, the colors or the pictures are the form. For your ear, sound is the form. For your nose, aroma or the smell is the form. For your tongue, taste is the form. For your body, sensation, feeling, itself all the, all the form. Mind, phenomena, or the dhamma, or the ideas, the form. So that is the form. So you recognize it. And when the form arise, form come to you, form come and contact you, sensation, the feelings arise. Without feelings, it is not belong to your world. So the feelings are the, the bridge. You and the world keep connecting. So if you become very sharp, clear, you are able to track and see the feelings. So in the Vipassana level, you don't go to anything, just you get into the feeling. And even just say, you know, when the inhalation, exhalation happened, now, now your mind more sharp in the beginning, you practice tranquility state, tranquility meditation. So now you have undisturbed mind, now you can get the feeling. So that's why we practice Samatha or tranquility meditation. So in the Vipassana, so you observe to the feeling. And recognize. So anywhere, sometimes a strong feelings can arise in your body, any pain or anything. And when the feelings come, then the sensation arise. So the sensation here means how strong the feelings, how depth, how deep. And the duration. So recognizing this. It's the sensation. And then that you can experience with your past. So that's called sanskar, mental formation. Without past, we mostly we don't experience things. That is the very conventional life. So whatever the you experience, you have a previous that the background 
with that experience. That connection bring the the formations. So that is why we feel there is something kind of like as example yourself, you are, I am, I am here, my name is it. I used to be like this, 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 like that way. But in this very moment, you are here, only here. What all that, all the history, where it is. In this anywhere around you, that history. No, it's all in your mind. So in this very moment, if you experience something, what happening naturally, you're not going to experience it itself separately, independently. What is happening? All your experience happen with the help of your past. That's what you have to break down. Because that past already come with the greed, hatred and the delusion. So if you experience today in this very moment, new experience with your influence from the past experience, what happening to this new experience? That also get influenced by the greed, hatred and the delusion. And the, the awareness or the consciousness, so recognition, the moment by moment that whatever you recognize, that all change. So form, feeling, sensation, formation, recognition. Those are the five aggregates. That is your life. So in Vipassana, you deeply observe these five things. And then recognizing this is change. Those that one is impermanent. That means change. Form, feeling, sensation, formations, recognition, itself change. And uh, unsatisfactory nature. There is no moment any feelings going to settle down anywhere. So because of the change, what you feel as sensation, that also going to go. Whatever you get as feelings, good feeling, uh, Unpleasant, pleasant feeling, unpleasant feelings, and neutral feelings. That all disappearing. And selflessness. That means within these five aggregates, there is no self or separate entity or soul interfere to this anything. This all happened because of the cause and effect, causality, dependent origination. So in the beginning, maybe you cannot get all these five things, but mostly sometimes you can because you close your eyes. So you can even case like uh, if the air, you know, hitting in this area, then you recognize in that how it's always change. So that is perception and the feelings. So anywhere in your body. If you can stay here, it is okay. Otherwise, sometimes, anywhere, if there are any strong feelings arise, and recognize, and may, and see how that feelings change. And sensation, and because of that feelings, it ignite the, the deeper into you, and it keep holding, or it, it's bringing kind of like a resistance, or go towards it, sensation and the formations and you recognize this, oh this is this, oh this sound, this, oh this is uh, uh, this is the bell sound, this is the monk, so this is computer, this is light, this everything, that recognition all come with the past influence. And so whatever the, you recognize as, oh, as it is, that recognition also change. As example, you have any sensation or feeling anywhere. So you recognize and then another place, sir. So then another place. So like that, that recognition also change. Or maybe at the same time you feel good and sometimes you don't feel good. So you observe inside your inner experience and how this form, feeling, sensation, formations change. So that observation called Vipassana. And you analyze it in three ways. That 
change impermanent unsatisfactory nature and selflessness so the in when it come to buddha's teaching the most important part the real deeper analytical practices recognizing form feeling sensation formations with the impermanent unsatisfactory nature and selflessness when you able to understand that and that is where you recognizing this everything happening according to necessary conditions things when you have that wisdom you get out of this self when there is no self your liberations happen so that is how we going to practice little bit now and so be comfortable yourself your right palm on your left and neck get straight in one line and bring your attention to your body so scan head to toes three times yourself and say so patveva oh may i be well and happy three times Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment, with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment observing the sensation of your inhalation, exhalation and later observe your fire form feeling sensation formations and recognitions with impermanent unsatisfactory nature and selflessness so bring your attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area deeply and gently breathing breathe out three times and find the sensation please and allow your inhalation exhalation to happen itself and when it happen recognize this is inhalation this is exhalation do nothing extra just get the mental note this is rising this is falling
Keep focus to inhalation, exhalation. And follow the entire continuation of the inhalation exhalation also you may experience some inhalation exhalation become longer shorter heavy soft warm cold just recognize it And slowly get out of the the details that you see through inhala inhalation exhalation just observe the form feeling sensation formations or recognition you may not be going to see all five but whatever you feel just see the impermanent unsatisfactory nature and selflessness within your in a experience
bring your attention to your body and observe your posture we cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound village city state country world around this universe also as far as you can through galaxies other planets stars reminding yourself like this with clear intention mentally repeat after me may all living beings in this universe be well and happy may everyone be happy and safe and may their hearts be filled with joy may all living beings live in security and in peace being so frail or strong tall or short big or small visible or not visible near or far away already born or yet to be born may all of them dwell in perfect tranquility let no one do harm to anyone let no one put the life of anyone in danger let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart forward visualize yourself and send it as a light and expand the capacity to your back side to your left side and to your right side downward and upward to all six directions at once like the moon 
the sun spread the light spread the energy without any condition without any limitation without any resistance or without any judgment let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest wishing yourself may all living beings in this universe be well and happy से साधु 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 सो डियर दामा प्रैक्टिशनर्स एस ऑर्डिनरी पीपल फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टू नाइट ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन वी ऑलवेज लुकिंग फॉर हैप्पीनेस सेटिस्फैक्शन एंड आवर कंफर्ट फॉर दैट वी ट्राई टू गेन मेनी थिंग्स टूवर्ड्स अस and always grasping holding clinging keeping close to us and we do many kind of things this anything is nothing wrong because we do things according to our knowledge that what we have and according to our culture tradition and and our forefathers our ancestors our grand parents used to do the same thing so we know the same thing and we repeat the same but it is important for you to see what you gain out of this are you really gain that what you look because when it come to happiness and the satisfaction or the joy or the comfort it is not something material it is completely 100% condition of our mind it is connected to our mind it's a psychologically kind of like a experience so then you have to look yourself in day to day life that whatever you keep doing looking for this happiness satisfaction comfort are you gaining it or whatever you do to gain the happiness or the satisfaction detach you from your own happiness or the satisfaction and people like to be happy but at the same time people like to enjoy life people like to celebrate life but sometimes they are that innocent desire take them to jail and they take them to end their life misery unhappiness sadness worry disappointment stress anxiety depression fear so then if you gain these things out of your physical or mental or verbal activities that whatever you keep doing sake of happiness so then you have to look again where i went wrong why this happened to me because your intention was to gain happiness but now you end up with misery then you have to look very careful 
it's all kind of like you know it is inside the mind it is the way that you behave your mind nothing else don't blame to god so don't blame to stars don't blame to your horoscope don't blame to any kind of you know that the mysterious powers or kind of like that they cannot decide that things it is your own choice it's kind of like a lock so every day you have you know the door lock see opening and closing any lock the, the the same mechanism it's inside the way you maintain can lock it and open it the same thing with your mind also so whatever come to your eye ear nose tongue body mind whatever you experience in day to day life can lock you or make you free can make you unhappy or can make you happy so that is the wisdom that you have to understand so then whatever you have around you is nothing wrong with this anything so but are you capable to use your experience to to make you free or make you open or make you liberate or make you happy or rather than make you lock unhappy sad worry so if so if it is go to that unhappiness sadness worry disappointment then you have to look why because the way you maintain the lock is wrong so when it come to that if you look for the happiness and the satisfaction one thing you have to be very careful and you have to put the attention so that is your heart or you can name it as a mind or your heart so whatever that you are in a awareness so when it come to this inner awareness it's mostly get tangled disappointed with the greed hatred and the delusion so that is the the very simple way to understand this method but when it come to that eightfold path in the samaditti samma sankhap so when it come to the second one right intention so that is something that purify your heart that's mean that always you have to to remind it and always you have to be mindful and always you have to keep active it in your heart so that is very important it will make you unlock your inner this behavior or it will always make you free and not allow you to tangle or harbor into greed hatred and the delusion so there are the three ways that you always have to think or the develop your mind with the intention nikamma sankalpa avyapada sankalpa avihinsa sankalpa so the nikamma sankalpa means in day to day life so i get the, give the negation of that in day to day life that we always have desire to go towards something make something happen get into something hold into something so that is what we always doing and at the same time thinking the result going to be good result going to be good you know we do everything like that way and we never look we never stop and look a little bit how about if this is not going to work this way or how about if it is not the exactly like that we don't think like that from childhood to now we train our mind always whenever whatever come to our eye ear nose tongue body mind 
it's mostly 100% we grasping and holding and clinging to that thinking it's going to work for us and it's going to bring that what you want. So that is the very basic way of life. But when it comes to the Nekama Sankhapa, means you develop a method and little bit to, to stop this jumping or going forward. It's mainly when you come to the completion of that, it's a giving up, renunciation or the giving up or get out of something rather than go into something. But you have to have some kind of clarity or the clear mind to not go towards something. So for that you have to look very carefully and you have to see when you are going to do something with your bodily, verbally and mentally action. And you have to look very carefully. So what will happen to you, it is not always in the positive side and just seeing the, the negative side of it and understanding if something go wrong, what will happen. So if you are able to see that way, you, you will recognize. It's like, a, it's like a, you know, war. And so when, when, when you plan the war, it's always not kind of like a, you, you can, you know, go forward and you're going to win. No, you always know, you know, what will happen, what may can happen on the way. You know? So when you go into play, it's not like always you thinking about you going to win. No, you always know what going, what may can happen. So you, you prepare for that. But in our life, the mostly, we always naturally, is, you know, in our mind, naturally we go towards something thinking it should happen the way we want. And that will bring the clinging or the grasping or the holding nature to us. And then when what will happen when something go wrong? Then you got disapp get disappointed, mad, unhappy, sad, worried. Why? Because it, it didn't happen the way you thought. So then you, you come to a point when something didn't happen the way you think, then what will happen? You you naturally become unhappy. So, Nekkama Sankhapa means you start to, to give up. Knowingly, this sansara is never end. And this emotion current is never going to end. This eye, ear, nose, tongue, body is not belong to you. And it just go with the flow, with the current and holding again and again and again, jumping place to place, place to place, place to place. So in the very first level, you have intention to attain to Nibbana. That's mean end this becoming. So that is the beginning of the happiness. As I mentioned, the happiness is a you know, psychological experience. It is a thought. When you have the the becoming nature, or clinging or holding nature, what will happen? Your mind always have the desires and you cling into desires. When you have the desires, you're not going to be happy. But when you have the intention to, one day, to end this, finish this, done, so just by thinking about it, you're going to find the peace, happiness. And once you have that, little by little in day-to-day -day life, now you have the, the higher goal, your major, the purpose in your life, what is? Attaining to Nibbana. So get out of this. Not rather than becoming and keep going, keep going, end this. Now then you become very careful. You add that intention to little, little work. So then in day-to-day -day life, you're not going to do any minor things, minor activities. 
you start to get into the major activities in your day-to-day -day life. That all the minor things you give up. So that is Nekkamma Sankalpa. That giving you peace. So as example, just to practice point of view, when you're driving, why you have to check the the messages or why you have to check your phone when you're driving? You drive. So that is your major purpose. So that is you 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 have to you know use your phone, but that is minor when you unless somebody call or emergency call, keep calling, calling, then you stop and you answer. You have to do that. But without that anything, when you're driving, why you watch, why you check your messages? See everywhere now, you know, need to put signs. You know, don't use cell phone. Don't check your messages. Don't text. Like that. So the Nekkama Sankapa means always you come to a point in life. So whenever the, the situation or the condition come, you go to only the major things. You give up minor situations in your life. That way you become more and more comfortable. What happened to us? We go to the minor things, we forget the major. We go to the very minor activities in day-to-day -day life, we forget the major things in our life. As example, when it comes to health, it is a major important thing in a conventional life. So, but in, you know, when somebody eats something, well, just imagine, you know, they eat chips or, you know, uh, popcorns or candy or something. And it is not good for you. So you know that. And health-wise, it's not good for you. So then that is your major. So, but you go to the brain and you keep talking. Then what happened? End of that more than the other person, you eat. See, that is what happening. So the Nekkamma Sankapa means, no, in the beginning you recognize, right away, you give up, you give up, you give up. You do not go into it. You go away from things. So with the desire, that whatever rises in your mind, you not go towards it. You go away from it. That make you happy that make you comfortable, that make you peaceful, that brings the joy to you. Try it. Try one day. You will see. And Avyapada Sankapa. So the next one, non ill will, ill will. This the ill will is it's a kind of like, a, you know, anger, unhappiness, this kind of things. So, you develop the loving kindness. And another way that uh, via, uh, the Vyapa, Avyapada Sankapa is the Vyapada means ill will and pleasure in causing pain and suffering. You know, you like to make other people put into supper. Avihinsa Sankapa. So, these things, you know, make your life more miserable. So then in the beginning, try to get out of the, the ill will. And don't have the desire to, you know, make people unhappy. Don't have the hold it to the anger, hatred or the jealousy. So how you can do that? And practice the loving kindness. Otherwise, you cannot get it. Get out of it. Remember little by little, little by little. And so even yourself, thinking about yourself and practice yourself loving kindness. And then regarding other people, rather than blaming, fighting, resisting, and start to practice loving kindness. So that way, you know, you will get out of it. 
and now we insert some kappa so it's kind of you know that uh, you always have the pleasure to to disturb others and bring the pain to others when other people in pain you become happy when other people in suffering you become happy so that also you know dirt our mind unpurify our mind so it brings the unhappiness to us so then what you have to do dwell, develop the compassion you know so when it come to compassion it is just not the idea so you have to help for other people share your life with others so that this way the generosity come physically you can help mentally you can help verbally you can help materially you can help share your life with others so that way it it brings the joy to you and it you purify your mind itself so those are the three things that how you can purify your life purify your mind in the beginning in the bottom level of your heart nikkamma sankappa avyapada sankappa avihinsa sankappa so giving up the desire or the becoming nature and the regarding that the sansara in the beginning you have the intention to to get into the nibbana giving up this sansara and then little by little you become disciplined and stay with only the mind major things and getting out of the minor avyapada sankappa nan ill will and the anger or the you get out of the anger or the hatred so for that as a count action you have to develop loving kindness so avihinsa sankappa means that cruelty that you always have the the intention to do harm to others pain bring the pain or the suffering so you get out of it so the as a count action for that you have to develop the the compassion so those are the three things you always have to keep in your life to purify your life and when you able to purify that way your heart and your happiness going to be there so other than that you know this conventional happiness happiness always going to change and it always depending from some situations it is not permanent but this happiness until you attain to the nibban so this happiness if you purify your mind your heart little by little little by little little by little this way you find the path path to to keep the happiness with you every day so that happiness make you rich inside you nourish you bring the joy the satisfaction the, the bliss to yourself and at the same time you will share it with others and then everybody going to feel the the bliss in this human life so with that i bless upon everyone with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sambhityo ajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavattantarayo suti digayuko bhav ettavata cha ammi sampadam punya sampadam sambhe deva anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe bhuta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe satta anumodantu सब संपत्ति सिद्धियादमे पुण्यकम आसवक्कया वहंगो तो सब दुखापमुंचतु ब्लेस्यु